Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week. Last week we said a couple of dramas is gonna go live and they didn't. One is the Hao Shi Cheng Shuang, the other is the Spy Game. And sometimes when the drama airs, like that one, it can stop airing immediately afterwards and not knowing when it's gonna have its future episodes. But we do have dramas that have gone live and there are a lot of them. So let's count them one by one. First, on August the 28th, we had a contemporary drama that went live on the web platform Mango Television as well as two different satellite televisions, Wu Yu Lun Bi De Mei Li, Incomparable Beauty, very literal translation, and it's led by Chen Xiao and Na Zha, metropolis, professional people, romance, career, and a lot of pressure and fighting for their dream type of drama that's very common these days. Haven't had time to check it out. I'll try my best at least to take a look at it. Then one day after that, we had a drama that went live on Tencent as well as Beijing satellite television, Qian Ye, The Eve, a Republic of China Mingguo setting espionage drama led by Zhang Huiwen and Ou Hao. It's also on my list of dramas I need to check, yet still haven't had time to look at. One day after that, on the 30th, we had another drama going live. Another duck in a row. It's a Yu Ku drama and it's led by Sheng Yilun and Zhang Tiangai. If you still remember the golden days of that drama when it was super popular. And this drama is called Zui Tan Lan, The Woman, The Brightest of us. And this drama was actually shot right after the success of Gogo Go Princess. Clearly back then they were trying to milk the popularity of that successful drama, but for all kinds of reasons, this drama got delayed and delayed and delayed. Five solid years. It used to be longer, but now it gets cut down to 43 episodes. And it's a story focused on paper publishing, fashion magazine, in the age of digitization. I will also try my best to get to it, at least take a look at it and see if it's worth watching. Then the next duckling in a row is a drama that went live one day after on the 31st, another Fen Zhang Ju on ITE, the platform, meaning ITE doesn't do any customer service. Shao Nu Chuang Jiang Hu. English title Egg and Stone. By combining the Chinese and the English title, you can guess this is a comedy wuxia drama, 24 episodes. On day one, they air 12 episodes. Day two, day three, six, six. So three days, finishing airing all 24 episodes. It is led by Xu Lu, Wu Xizhe, Wang Yilun. I have only taken a very quick look at the drama. I haven't really gotten into watching it, but already I see comments on social media about this drama. People saying, wow, Xu Lu's Ziyuan resource has declined so much. In recent years, really, she hasn't gotten a really good project. There were some really good projects previously and I enjoyed, and she does have, in my opinion, a very different look than most of the other actresses of her age in Chinese dramaland. Recent years probably is the valley of her career. I just hope it can pick up later and then there could be better stuff for her to be in. Today on September the 1st, China Friday evening as I'm shooting hasn't happened yet so let's hope it actually happens instead of again not airing. A contemporary drama should be airing on CCTV 8, ITE also Tencent. Jiao Yang Ban Wo Sunshine by my side and it's led by Bai Bai He and Xiao Zhan. Older lady, younger guy falling in love. <laughs> And she's a director and I think he works under her. Judging by the trailer, looks okay. A pretty standard contemporary metropolis setting romantic story that is popular these days. It's another drama on the list. Depending on if I can physically get to watch it, I wish I have 72 hours a day now. So these are the dramas having gone live or will go live from 28th every day one drama up to September the 1st. And by all means, by the time this video goes out tomorrow, there may be more. Then let's talk about a couple of other projects at different stages. First, we've got the license of two dramas during this week. One is Yi Nian Guan Shan, the period wuxia drama led by Liu Shishi and Liu Yuning. The other is Xu Chu Yumen, West Out of Yumen. I think now it's officially gone through all censorship stuff so it can air anytime. Then previously, we've already had leaked photos of the drama second collaboration between Yu Shuxing and Ding Yuxi in the period drama Yong Ye Xinghe. Now they've officially started promoting, having their opening ceremony photos released on their official account, although nobody is actually dressed as the characters in the drama. They're all in normal clothing. So in a way, you know, the leaked photos actually tell you more information about them and the project than the official one. But at least, you know, they're running. So we're gonna get more material coming out soon. Also this week, we've got a drama wrapping. Period drama, I've talked about it once, Xi Hua Zhi, story of Hua Zhi or something like that. Zhang Jingyi, Hui Tian, period drama. And I've ranted about the terrible wig. 
看到胡一坚啊 ，the finishing wrapping ceremony photo looks slightly better. Still, that wig is weird. And then I checked who is the director. It's Zhu Ruibing. Good luck to everybody's skin texture, lighting, and their nostrils, and the giant light bulb that's gonna show up behind them. Good luck to Hu Yitian. Now you have the wig and this director. You have like a double debuff. Then September we have a couple of films domestically in China that's gonna screen. There's one project I wanna talk about it now, which is September the 29th. Moscow Mission, Moscow Mission, and this is actually based on a real thing that happened back in 1993. A huge case on the train between China and Moscow, a huge robbery case <laughs> involving murders and gunfights and cross-border different police collaboration. I remember it even when I was little. I've heard about the name China Russia. Train case. So this film is based on this robbery case that actually took place three decades ago, and it's gonna be led by a very impressive cast. The two leads are Zhang Hanyu and Huang Xuan. Special guest Liu Dehua, also including Wen Yongshan. Have to go into the theater to watch it when it gets released during China's October National Day. Holiday slot. Then to conclude today's video, I have an unfortunate news to relate to you if you haven't heard about it, which is the likelihood of another very promising actress getting cancelled in China. That's unfortunately Song Zuar, very pretty, actually a really good actress, having bright future. Already three, four dramas that she's done that is waiting to air. Yesterday in China, we've got the news that she got reported by one of previous employee of the company that she works at, something like that, about. Tax problems she's gotten, basically evading tax for about 45 million RMB, and obviously, as you can imagine, immediately fandom comes out say this is not real, and then we start to have all the buzz on the internet. She herself or any official representation or organization of her hasn't come out to say anything. Till now, which is over 24 hours, which sounds very, very problematic. Usually, if it's completely a rumor and not true at all, the person would jump out immediately and say something. But nothing happened. This report did get confirmed, which is it's not nothing. Somebody actually using their real name reported her for tax evasion. Her previous. Management company that now doesn't have a contract with her immediately came out issuing a statement saying our contract ended at the end of 2022 with this actress and it was all a very happy collaboration during our whatever contractual time and her finance and everything that's regarding her earning wasn't under our company's management. Since 2020, so it's like we have cut financial ties with her two years ago, and then last year we've already stopped working with her as a management company. We just come out and say it's none of our business, okay? And if you look at social media, the television stations that have posted stuff related to her previously had collaborations with her have deleted all those Weibo. So that's another really bad sign. Every second that goes by is kind of a confirmation of like this is real. If it turns out to be real, she is gonna get canceled in China for sure. This is the red tape thing: drug, tax, criminal charges. Like these things are just like if you nah, it ends your career as a public figure in China. So if it turns out to be true, well, shit for all the dramas. And I really want to watch <laughs> Zhe Yao with Liu Yuning. I'm also curious with that project that she's. Done already finished filming with Zhang Xincheng leading the Zhengwu Yangguang drama, Jiannan 的制造 She also has a drama with Ren Jialun that has already put out multiple trailers and is likely to go live anytime. ITE had they put that drama out in August instead of 七十吉祥 At least one drama that escaped this now it may never come out. And she also has a drama with Hou Minghao. Personally, I really hope this is not true. Cause I want to watch her dramas. I like her. Like her acting is good. She's very pretty, and I'm curious to see tall, super-sized Liu Yuning and tiny Song Zuar paired up. Like how how good it's gonna look. If they want to air, they would have to reshoot all her shots or face swap her. How many years has it been since the first person fall because of tax problem in China? And why don't these stars learn? Is it get it sorted out? If you don't have proper like I don't know content, get one. Yes, you're gonna pay a lot of tax, like close to half of your earning, like forty five percent on like if it's the highest amount as a personal income. But like. You get a lot of money too, so does it make a huge difference, right? Whether you have 10 million RMB in your account or 20 million, it's not gonna impact your life that differently. It's not like a 
ten thousand and twenty thousand actually makes a bigger difference than ten million and twenty million. I just feel really frustrated as a drama reviewer that I really look forward to certain dramas and now they're like completely in ICU. Let's hope it's actually not true. As an actress, she's pretty qualified. We don't have that many very qualified pretty actresses of her age. And if she, you know, like gets just basically removed from the industry from now on, it's just just ah 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 something that has huge potential. Gets destroyed prematurely. <sighs> That's、uh, everything that has happened in Drama Land that I've collected during this hectic week. Thank you for watching. I'm New X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.